Hello and welcome to another excursion. It's as steep here as it is scenic. Oh. But I wanted to bring you here, so I just have to put up with the exercise. Beautiful out here. Official mountain bike road. Here's the farm. Nice tram line. This is the other end, the one going from St. Gallen to Oppenzell. So, yeah, five kilos of fallow deer, all mixed. Oh, look at that, another pumpkin cellar. I have enough now. Today I'm going to cook uh, fallow deer ragu together with spatzli, which is a local variety of pasta, and red cabbage. So start. Mm -hmm. Flour. I need a certain amount of salt. I need milk. And then I need quite a bit of elbow grease. So the dough has rested for an hour. Water is boiling and these are the instruments I need. This is a, what we call a knöpfli sieb. Put some dough into it and squeeze it gently through the holes. So it comes out and the other side is dough drops. They sink to the bottom of the pan. And you just have to wait for them to come up. Thank you. 
and we take them out. So now that the spatzli are done, it's time to move to the next project. And that's the red cabbage. I've taken the outer leaf off. Quarter the whole thing. And take away the, some thin slices. Next step is chop out the onion. And some apple. One apple for a kilo of uh, red cabbage. Since that was just about half a kilo, half an apple will have to do. And the rest is for me. I need some salt too. White vinegar, just so it keeps the color. The wine is like with the apple. Mm -hmm. What I don't need for cooking is good for me. And low fire and let it sit for a while and that's the story. Same start for the ragu now. Add some margarine. Add some onions. So both these dishes need about an hour of simmering. Then here come a few bacon cubes. Fire some salt too. And pepper. Here. Now it's Add a little bit of white wine vinegar. Put down the lid and down with the temperature. So the recipe tells me to take out the meat before blending the leftovers. I mean, I could blend the whole thing and then we wouldn't need teeth. <laughs> so I did add some cream to make it look a bit different. And now the meat goes back in. Okay. That's pretty much. Well, warm it up once more and then it's done. The cabbage looks cool. So, heating up some more margarine to fry some of these 
Knöpfli. Und dann wir ready to fill a plate. Das schaut wie nach, ne? Mm. How do you know when they're done? Oh, they just change color a little bit. That looks like a cyclist's portion court. Well, didn't you come up with the bicycle? I did. So? I've done like 25 kilometers today. Good girl. A bit of color. So a smaller portion for me, please. As possible. Well, you can always go and cycle another 25 case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? That's all right. Elderberry flower syrup with mineral water and basil. Well, that's nice with the bacon here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty tender. So, you know, that's what I do every day for Verena when she comes back from work. <laughs> Don't have any sympathy for me going back to work, <laughs> going home to a restaurant every night. <laughs>